Okay, let's start with our Firebase project. And um, just get over to firebase.pp.com and we're going to get started. So now we're going to go over to create a project. Uh, our project name, we're just going to see my job here. Accept the Firebase terms. I confirmed I use Firebase exclusively. Um, Google Analytics, this if you're creating you know, a website and you want Google Analytics for your project, but for this one, we're not really going to need it. We're going to uncheck that. So it's going to take a little bit of a while before it's going to create our project. Okay, so our project is ready now. We're going to continue. Okay, so now that we're logged in like this, we need to create, we need to connect our Firebase uh, account with our Firebase application, uh, the application we're using. So we're going to come over here, we're going to go to project settings and we're going to see there are no apps in your projects. I'm going to click here because we're using uh, React. We're just an app, app nickname. We're just going to see Ninja Buddha. I also said Firebase will see not now. It's the app. Hmm. So while this is setting up, well, we need to come over to our project. Okay. Now you can see we need to install Firebase on our React applications. So we're going to take this code, we're going to copy it, and we're going to come over here. You can see this much better. I'm going to paste it over here. I'm going to press install. Now, while that is installing, we need to create a Firebase configuration file. Now uh, we're going to come into our source pool folder. We're going to create a File in firebase.config. Okay, so that's my bias. It's not supposed to be dot config, it's supposed to be firebase config dot js. Ah, sorry about that. So now that we've done that, we're going to copy this code here because this is our firebase configuration. This API key and this auto domain key should be kept in your environmental variables. They should not just be exposed into the file like this, but we're going to do that anyway, because we're just starting out. Okay. So now we've done that. So we are also going to import this initialize app as well. Our npm is still loading. We're going to also come here and copy this. Paste it over here. So now that we've done that, just continue over to the console. And we've done that. I think we're good now. So we're going to go over, go ahead to 